Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the third part of this drawing this dice. I actually started thinking about a better way than using the extrude tool. Because when you're when you're using the extrude tool, let's make sure this is grouped together, control G, and then you want to rotate this guy. It just never really kind of looks right to me. Where if you do it this way, you can rotate it and play around with it and flip it and do everything and it's still going to look good. That looks okay. But this is this is a fun way and it, it'll kind of, I think it actually looks a little better as a cube. It's hard to ex extrude this direction um, so much. So let's, let's just start drawing one. I'm going to take my polygon tool. I'm going to set on six. Doesn't really matter what size. I'm going to hold down my control key so it's equal. Then I'm going to take my two point line and I'm make sure I'm on the node. And I don't know if that's showing on your screen. You don't want it to say edge. You want it to say node. And then you can actually delete these lines we do not need anymore. Just like in the previous video. Now, here's the key factor. We need to know what size this line is. It's 6.77. You can't use this line or this line because, okay, these lines are equal, but that says it's five. So you need one that's going straight up or down or left to right perfectly. So it's 6.77. So we're gonna make our dice 6.77. Then, as in the previous video, video, I'm gonna color fill this. I've got my nudge factor set on, let's see what it's even set on five inches and I'm going to do the same thing I did prior. I'm color filling in them. I'm just getting them out of the way. Now for this video, I'm going to make them all fives. So I'm going to control D and I'm just going to move this one over here. Control D and move this one over here. Now this one's a little trickier, but it, cause you have to move it twice the perspective. But since you've got it grouped together, we're going to grab near the corner and we're going to put it, hopefully it snaps to that edge. In the previous videos, I've got back a page right there. So that's pretty good. Now grab on your item you want to put perspective on, go up to effect and add perspective and just move this corner to here. And make sure it says node and make that corner there. Now, because you didn't mess up your nudge factor, You've got it right there. Same thing with this one. Let's uh, put this to the back of the page and let's grab this kind of near the edge where you still have a four point. See, I'm off a little bit, so I'm gonna, it should snap right to it. Then while you've got it selected, go up to effects, add perspective. And it should pop right to that node. And then same thing, just because you haven't moved anything, your nudge factor is a big help. Now the next one is a little, I'm not gonna say trickier, but it's kind of cool. You have to just put this on one of the corners. And let's go ahead and back a page. And as you see why my button is real important to back a page. And let's zoom in here, I'm dead on. Now, this time, you're going to have to add perspective to three of the sides. And that's probably the real reason for the video. So we'll go perspective. We'll move this one down to here. And I'm, I missed it just a hair. I'm off just a little bit. But there we go. Now we're going to move that down. And because I haven't moved my nudge factor, now you're going to want one of those sides a little bit lighter to make it look like a cube. And it does look funny because they're all uh, fives. But let's group all this together. And let's make a duplicate and we'll let's move it over. And then you could mirror this one. And, uh, and even rotate them. I mean, make it look like the dice are actually falling. Anyway, so that's how to make a cube using the polygon tool. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.